Well, it looks like a whole lot of fun. Well, exactly where we are, we have a lot of fun too. Budget meals for our family, which means you eat more and you save money, right, Michael? Absolutely. <laughs> what are you, you taking me you, through today? You, you eat. You eat less and you eat better. You eat less and you eat better. Yeah. Well, this looks like a lot. Yeah, this is good stuff. So let's have a look here. First of all, let's have a look at the meat side. Mm -hmm. um, it's better to, to buy the, the, the cheaper, what people regard as the more tougher cuts of meat. Um, but like this is a lovely piece of shin here. And what you do is you cook it very long and very slow and it's just utterly delicious. And all these lovely little um, parts all break down here and the meat becomes wonderfully, wonderfully tender. And, and as you say, it is a little cheaper than the, the better cuts yes. of meat, but it's not poorly, it's not poor meat, it's still it's really good It's not poor quality meat, meat. Yeah. it's brilliant meat. Okay. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you can bulk, you can bulk meat out by using butter beans, by using lentils, by using, by using chickpeas, and of course always buying um, vegetables and fruits in season. Ah, They're good okay. buying sort of strawberries in June when they're at their very best in <laughs> September. I love and, how you say that to me, Michael. Thanks. And, <laughs> and you know, you use you use lovely winter root vegetables. I mean, in, in winter time we've got carrots, mm. we've got potatoes, parsnips, turnips, all these wonderful things. And I'm just thinking now about what you mentioned about the beans. I can imagine a nice lasagna, and instead of using only mince, you put Absolutely. some lentils in there. Okay. Yeah. And you know, you can use you can use um, red kidney beans and borlotti beans, which are white. Right. So you've got two colours going on in there. And then, of course, for flavour, um, herbs, and and this just makes such a huge difference. And you can you can grow these on little pots on your on your kitchen windowsills. Now, earlier the team mentioned that uh, budget meals. We're all working on a budget these days. If you reckon if we put this all together, it can bulk it up for a hearty family meal Absolutely. instead of just yeah. um, you know trying to to gather more meat or more. Yeah. So you you put some beans in there and some winter vegetables that are available. Yeah. And you know you can use you can use meat like this, and you can create a, <clears throat> a beef stock, which you can then use as a soup um, later as well. Now there's all kinds of ideas in terms of budget meals, and I, just having a look at this, I would imagine that if you had some hearty chicken yesterday, you can recreate it in a. I would imagine add some vegetables and make yes, a chicken pie absolutely. today, or uh, even a sandwich. A oh, sandwich for oh. for school lunch. Makes me feel very hungry right now. And you, I mean, that's where Baberti came from. Baberti came on Mondays from the leftover roast lamb on, on Sunday. You know, that's what I tried to tell my mother-in-law. She wouldn't believe me. <laughs> <laughs> well, after the break, we're cooking with our budget meals. We're talking about budget meals for the family. Of course, as I mentioned, eating more and literally uh, paying less for it. We're creating what after the break? We're doing a, a pasta Alfredo. Yeah, evaporated milk one. Well, yes. stay tuned because after the break, we're cooking. It's at the All Seasons Milk Factory where we found goodness produced on a daily basis. Pick and pay, always there for you. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso on SABC3. So we're in the kitchen and literally talking budget meals for our families, which means eating economically and literally uh, spending less money. Michael, are you burning that pan? I'm just trying to cool it off. <laughs> what are we making this time round? We're going to do a, a pasta dish with, um, with some... Uh, evaporated milk, yes. nice and richly flavoured, with some cheese, some peas, pasta, bacon, and just make it yummy. And I love how we've chosen that instead of a, a cream, you know, we, yeah. we're replacing it by, by uh, and like I said, we, we're eating economically and saving money on our ingredients. How do we create this meal? Well, I mean, here you've got the, the evaporated milk, you know, half of the, yeah. of the milk has been evaporated away. So you've already got bags of, of flavour there. Look at that, and you put it over your hot pan. Put it over the hot pan. Of course, it's going to reduce a little bit more. Yeah. I'm just looking at two as this pan is too hot. What else do we put in there? I see. Right. Here, now we've got we've got some butter. Put some butter in there to make it this even creamier. Nice, fl nice flavour. We're talking budget family meal, so yep. this is Michael. And then we've got it. some grated. I could smell this earlier. Cheese. It's so delicious. Mm. So Look, you don't have to use Parmesan cheese. You can use, you can use um, gra Grana Padana, which is like Parmesan, but right. only made in a different um, geographical area. Um, you can use Pecorino, um, and tell if you want to, you can even use cheddar, but you, you should really use a white, a white, um, cheese. A white cheese. Okay. Our dish again, you're making a pasta, basically. Yeah. 
Okay. And, and uh, a budget meal pasta. Yeah. And what we do is we we cook the we, we cook the pasta first, mm -hmm. and then we've got some peas and we've got some bacon that we're going to garnish with the garnish it with at the end as well. I want to know more about filling it up because I mean when we talk about budget meals you want to kind of stretch the meat a little bit and make sure that instead of just two people maybe four people can eat from yeah. here. I mean how, how do you bulk up a meal like this? Well I think here again you can if you if you want to you can add you can add beans happily mm -hmm. and we're putting some peas in here. And I like the fact that our only meat that we use with this meal is the little pieces of bacon, bacon and if you yeah. look at it it's not really a lot. Absolutely. And you know you can buy um, in pick and pay. You can buy um, cheaper bacon cuts as well. I think they're called bacon bits, mm -hmm. so that you're not buying the sort of the slices, the streaky or whatever. And it's like you mentioned earlier. It just means that it's a different cut, which is cheaper, yeah. and the quality and the is still the same. The qualities are still still the same, and the flavour might be a little bit different, but. Okay. Well, as you're putting your fresh ingredients into There's our pan, parsley. our keyword for today is fresh. So fresh to 33728 to get a link to the recipe and also a list of our pick and pay ingredients. You're also going to the draw uh, to stand in line to win a six-month subscription of our pick and pay fresh living magazine. Look at that pasta, it's adorable. And this recipe is in the current edition of um, Fresh Living. Of Fresh Living, by the way. So you put it all in the pan? Yep. I mean you didn't make a sauce that you pour over afterwards yeah. and a little bit of salt. Pepper. I love the way how you grind this. You oh. never you never do it towards the pan, you kind of do it sideways. Michael's got <laughs> such he's got a touch with everything that he does. Right, so then we just mix it up together. You didn't really bring heat it to it a boil, you just wanted it to simmer. I did, and then it just simmers, simmers away. Okay. And um, you really just want to heat it so you can see it's quite hot, the steam's coming off there. Yeah. Well, the pan initially was <coughs> scorching. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was <laughs> now, what I want to try and do yeah. is when we, <clears throat> when we had our restaurant, we used to roll the pasta around the fork like this. Like a sausage. So that you've got like a... So you've got like a nice roll of pasta on the plate. You still do, yeah, that's good. Well done, Michael. It's not, not quite as, nah, as rolly as I would have liked it to be. It's still really good, it's still really good. Um, I think we're not going to do it with this Look at that. bit here. So budget meals that we're discussing today in the kitchen, and of course you can bulk a meal up like this uh, with a little bit of meat, and uh, as Michael mentioned, you don't have to use parmesana like I call it, you don't use to use, have to use parmesan, you can use any type of cheese, whether it's a, a little bit of cheddar, but hopefully... Or, or you use a white cheddar. A white, a white cheddar, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, while you're doing that, I want to yeah. look at how you literally created this. And uh, while we're decorating it, uh, our keyword for today is fresh. Fresh to 33728. Let's have a look at how we got to this point. Fry bacon, then set aside. To the pan, add evaporated milk and bring to the boil. Add butter and parmesan and stir until smooth. Toss in peas, parsley and pasta. Season, then serve topped with bacon and extra cheese. And our keyword for today is fresh, fresh to 33728 to get a link to the recipe and also a list of our pick and pay ingredients. And you can also create this an evaporated milk Alfredo, like Michael's called it, with little bits of bacon in there, um, budget meals like we call it today, as we're eating economically today and making budget family meals. That looks really good. It is good. Mm. I know. I would taste some. But not now, right? <laughs> One of the things we've been discussing on the show earlier was uh, in the Express, and it's of course the Oscar Pistorius case, but Katlejo has more. We found goodness in Goed Gedacht Olive Oil and all the good they do for the community. 